Tonight, we cross the state line to Chesterton, Indiana, for a taste of the Tuscan countryside at Lucrezia. Located just 40 minutes from downtown Chicago in the quaint northern Indiana town of Chesterton, Lucrezia brings a touch of Italy to the shores of Lake Michigan. The restaurant was transformed from a 19th century home into a unique dining room and an airy outdoor patio. Here you can enjoy favorites such as the vegetable ravioli and cream sauce, the polenta torte, pork tenderloin with rosemary gravy, the stuffed mushroom cap, and as an exclamation point, the flourless chocolate cake. And the restaurant offers an extensive list of wines and martinis. Joining me in the studio now is Michael Karras. He's the owner of Lucrezia. Michael, welcome to uh, Chicago Tonight. Thank you. Thanks for having us. First of all, uh, you brought in a lot of wonderful looking food. Tell me, is there a particular dish that uh, is the most popular dish in your restaurant? I would have to say it's probably the braised lamb shank right here. It's a mm -hmm. really popular item. On the rare occurrence that I do run out of it, I'm, I'm afraid to be at the restaurant because someone's liable to kill me. So oh, there might be an uprising. Yeah, there's an uprising. Uh, up upset diners. The corner, and, yes. and, and uh, describe this dish just a little bit. Well, it's... Uh, those, the lamb shanks weigh probably close to a pound each, and they're wow. slowly braised in red wine and onions and garlic and rosemary, and that's, it's fall off the bone tender. It's served with roasted potatoes and braised red cabbage. It's wonderful. If somebody comes into your restaurant and says, you know, I've never been here before, what should I try? And uh, if, uh, if, uh, if, if they're not interested in this dish, what would you recommend that you brought in? Uh, depending if they're a vegetarian or, or a non-meat eater, we, our chicken Vesuvio here is wonderful. It's, right uh, it's pan-seared and... Uh, cooked with olive oil and uh, white wine and garlic and uh, many of our pastas are very good. This is probably our most popular pasta right here, the uh, rigatoni with smoked chicken, sun-dried tomatoes and portobello mushrooms. Ooh, that does look good. Yes. You also brought in some desserts. Uh, which ones uh, Which ones are hit the mark? Well, I, I don't think anyone can top our tiramisu, but uh, they're certainly welcome to try. But uh, <laughs> the zucchato is very wonderful. It's a chocolate dome cake. It's, uh, right here? Yes, it's a, it's a stuffing of white chocolate mousse and pistachios, and it's served with raspberry and chocolate sauces. I have to tell you, you know, a lot of uh, a lot of restaurants when you order a dessert, they you know they come you know delicate little pieces. These these, these are pretty good helpings. Uh, there's nothing that comes in a delicate little piece at Lucrezia. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. Your location, 40 miles from 40 miles from Chicago. Correct. Uh, but you still get a lot of people from the city. I actually do. Porter County has been very good to us. The people of Chesterton have, but uh, uh, particularly in the summer. A lot of people have homes along the lake, all the way up into Michigan, and they've made a habit of stopping at Lucrezia on the way to or from their summer homes. So if you go through our parking lot in August, you'll see about half Illinois plates and half Indiana. Well, from the setup piece that we saw, it's really a beautiful restaurant, particularly that outdoor uh, eating area. Yes. It's really attractive. Yes, very popular. With, uh, it's a brick paver patio. It's very, very well landscaped garden setting. So it's very nice, very popular. Mike? Thank you for bringing in this food. It looks lovely, and congratulations on the success at Lucrezia. Thank you very much. 